All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're looking at Zupyak. This is uh, AppSumo, one of the latest AI content generation softwares that has hit AppSumo. We're gonna be taking a look at this. We're gonna be going over the pricing and this will be a little bit quicker of a review because I actually already recorded the review and unfortunately I had some technical issues at the very end in editing and I lost my work. So I had this nice 25 minute video for you, uh, but I'm gonna condense this down and just uh, go over what I discovered in the tool and what my kind of overall thoughts are and conclusion. And I'll show you the inside now of the tool and do what I normally do, which is talk about the tool. All right, so this is Yup Yak. Uh, you can over click over here and you can go and check out the website, which will go and do that. And what I like to do is go over here and just see if the website's already established, getting traffic. And yes, it is, surprisingly. It's already getting 125,000 visitors per month. So that means it's already a business. And I usually give it just a one little notch up or leg up. If they've already established themselves as a business, then they don't really need AppSumo um, in the same sense as um, an application that has no traffic and no sales whatsoever. They're gonna be relying on AppSumo a lot hev more heavily um, on the success of bringing in LTD subscribers and so when you find a company that is uh, coming on AppSumo um, to explore new ways to get new customers and so forth uh, maybe increase um, some revenue in their business uh, so then they can go out and have that funding for larger projects there's all kinds of different ways or reasons to go and do an LTD on AppSumo but in this case this company has already established and already has customers they have over 3 million articles published on their website already. They also have like a community where you can publish to Zapyak um, and um, they have a community of over 400,000 users um, that you can uh, post your content to and so forth. I'm not going to really focus too much on that in this uh, review and this video, uh, but this is the site. You can uh, go check out some of the articles and what it kind of looks like on the site and so forth. But you, um, the re main reason why you're interested in this is how you can create content for your own websites. I'm going to go click on pricing real quick. And this would be the everyday pricing if you didn't pick up the LTD on AppSumo. Um, you have a free plan. It's going to give you a, a few articles. And then you're going to need to subscribe to an account. So it's just enough to kind of wet your whistle and see what this is all about. And then you're going to go ahead and need to subscribe. They do have a $19 a month plan, which is only going to Get you 10 articles and the $29 a month plan for just 10 more dollars you can do unlimited amount of content and unlimited articles so I definitely would recommend picking up that plan but why would you pick up that plan when you can go ahead and get the LTD on AppSumo while it's available um, they have three licensed tiers a uh, license tier one or sorry, they have two license tiers. Tier one is the $39 and that's gonna get you the 10 articles per month. And then license tier two, basically just double the, um, the cost <clears throat> and then you're gonna be able to get unlimited content month after month. So this is an unlimited plan right here for $99. Uh, that's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest unlimited um, plan. I think I've seen a couple of the other, other tools at $89 for unlimited, but this is about as cheap as you're gonna get for an unlimited anything tool on AppSumo. Uh, so we can scroll down. This is obviously Jasper and there's, they're putting in SEMrush in here. It's not even gonna come close to SEMrush when it comes to analytics and uh, you know competi competitive analysis and research of other websites and finding keywords and so forth. It does have a keyword section I'll show you that um, but uh, definitely it's not really an alternative to SEMrush um, I wouldn't really wouldn't really put this um, in that category right there but I would say Jasper and you know maybe list a couple other tools like um, copy AI or something like that um, it does have a WordPress integration as well uh, we can keep scrolling through here and I'll just we'll just look at the other stuff that you get so you get the content ideation content creation content publishing SEO keyword recommender SEO focused, uh, topic generator, um, AI editor, content um, repository, add content anywhere manually, publish directly to Zupiak. All right, so we have the $39 tier one plan and the $99 unlimited uh, tier two plan. So if I was gonna pick this up, it would definitely be licensed tier two. Uh, you can see some of the questions that are being um, asked. When is GBT4 going live? Please don't say soon. Uh, looks great. A few questions. Um, blah blah blah. So, um, looks like they are going to be doing something with um, ChatGPT four at some point. Um, but right now, I believe this is running on <clears throat> three point five. So we'll go jump into the tool real quick. And when you're over here, you can go to um, write, 
and let's just go and write something real quick if I can. Now you have the keyword recommender and the topic generator. Let me go show you how those work real quick. So you have the keyword um, right over here. You select your focused market, United States in English language. And then right here, let's just say um, make money on YouTube um, as a keyword, um, propose keywords. So it's going to go out and generate keywords for us. It's not going to give us like hundreds or thousands of keywords. It's not really like that. It's really just what you have in your mind. Go ahead and type in it and it's going to go ahead and try to find us some keywords like cameras and recording equipment. Um, it's going to say that it's a walk in the park. It's very easy. Um, doesn't have any search volume, but it obviously is being searched for. Um, so I do like that it's going to include some keywords that don't have any search volume um, but those are the sometimes the golden nugget keywords to actually go for let's see if we have some other likes and dislikes um, <clears throat> merchandise sales so you can save the keyword right there and then if you go up to my content and then go over to it'll show you all the keywords um, you can see I did some fishing research and so forth earlier so you can find all these keywords to go for so right here deep sea um, fishing or choosing the right bait fishing right there so we can we could grab that um, there's also another thing you can do which is you can go to right section you can go to topic generator right over here and you can say mainstream ideas different ideas out of the ordinary and wild ideas so you can put this gauge wherever you want to I'm gonna say fishing and we're going to say wild ideas for fun and let's just see what it's going to do for us real quick um, it is pretty fast you can see the robot dancing and you can see this the lost art of ancient alien fishing techniques unraveling uh, the extraterrestrial influence in ancient fishing practices or fishy superstitions exploring the bizarre rituals believed uh, to bring good luck in fishing so these might be some really cool things that you could you would never really think of um, also people aren't really searching for this but if you if they saw this um, and an advertisement or something like that um, or social media it will definitely bring in so you want to mix your content with some like this and I like I do like that they've included this in here I also like the interface it's super simple um, to use um, you, you're never looking at too much information at once to where you get kind of you know um, information overload and it's hard to make decisions that way right so i do like how they keep it the way that it is you can save this for later you can copy this and go and start writing and actually let's do that instead of taking one of those keywords let's literally take the lost art um, fishing superstitions i like this one so let's copy this i'm going to save it for later and then i'm also going to copy this so now we've copied this i'm going to go to write again and then we're going to go over to the ai generator and here's the part um that i don't know because i have a free version i don't know if we have a paid version if we can actually choose how many words are going to be written but i'm going to forewarn you that this is only going to write between five and seven hundred words of content even on the long version so i'm going to go ahead and put this over here on long and i just want to point that out i have tried blog post um, and I have tried article. It seems to um, give a little bit longer content when you put, select article. So I'm going to select article right there. And then I'm going to go next. I'm going to put in my, my topic right here. And I'm going to say next. And then I'm going to go. I usually do friendly. But in this case, I'm just going to go. Um, I'm actually going to go funny in this one. Next. Okay, so I've ran out of my free trial usage, but the good news is, is that I can go over to my content and show you what the content actually looks like after we use it, okay? So I've come over here and we can see this article right here, top 10 ways to make money online. I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here. We're gonna be able to go and look at it. So we have uh, making money online in 2023. Welcome to the world of online opportunities. In today's digital age, there are countless ways to earn some extra money from the comfort of your home, own home. Whether you're a student looking for a part-time gig or a stay-at-home parent uh, wanting to contribute financially, the online world has something for everyone. In this blog post, we will explore the top 10 ways to make money online in 2023, specifically tailored to help people who want to make extra money online. Um, that part right there is actually seems kind of AI-ish, um, you know, like to kind of repeat that word one more time. Um, want to make extra money online. Um, but you will also see these three keywords right here, online side hustles, top ways to earn money online and check these out over here, online side hustles, 
top ways to make money online. So they are using those uh, words that it finds for you. It finds these SEO keywords right here and we're able to, it automatically forces them into the article. I do like that. Um, and it does have make money, making money online in 2023. And it says um, our title right here as well. So it's uh, coming up with some pretty well SEO optimized content. I do like that. It was able to give us our listicle right here. Uh, and it did answer the, t the, the 10 best ways. I do agree with these. These are some pretty dang good ways. And then a really short conclusion paragraph. So at the end of the day, um, we can publish this to the Zupyak um, community. I'm not going to really go into that right there. We can also come over here and you can, uh, you know, do a meta description. The meta description does give you like a paragraph. So you're going to have to really kind of cut that down um, in order to be optimized for search engines or just a sum summary right here. And you push the generate summary button. It's going to go out there and it's going to summarize this right here. And you're going to have this nice giant paragraph of summarizing this whole uh, text right here. Another thing, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and right click and go word counter plus uh, it gave us a 568 word article right there. Okay, so this is what uh, the content editor looks like. We do have an editor right here as well. Um, you know, the basic editor where you can go and add images in and so forth right there. You can make H1s, H2s. I don't see, let's see an H3. Yep, you can make H3s right there as well. Um, and then you can go and publish it, like I said, if you want to. If not, you can just copy this and paste it into your blog. Again, you can go and get your article ideas over here. You can get your keyword research right over here. Um, pretty cool. Um, what I did was I wrote a bunch of different articles uh, with um, this, my testing over here. And if we come in here to test topics right here, you'll see I wrote these three articles in here. I don't know why it's not saving, but I definitely know I wrote these three in here and I went and used um, all my tools to grade these. And the results are these right here. Um, the first article was 550 words. Uh, they were all around between five and 700 words. And these are the scores in readable. Uh, we got a this is going to be this uh, site over here that I pay premium for. And then we have Grammarly Pro right here. And then we have also have Neuron Writer that I graded all these with, right? And so I take those topics and I perform three tests. And these are the scores that it got. I, it got a 655 overall. That's just adding all this up. And then it gives me, me the average right there. So um, it did um, give us a 61, which was pretty cool to see. Uh, and then it went 51 and then 40. Um, and then we're at a 95, 92, 96 uh, for Grammarly, stays in the 90s. And we get pulled 180 on the um, 180 score on the readable score. So those are the scores. I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews uh, this week on um, all the other AI content uh, writing softwares that have hit AppSumo. So stay tuned. You want to make sure that you subscribe to LearnWire because you don't want to miss... I'm going to be doing reviews on right rank and super copy and many others. So you're going to want to see, so I'm going to be able to do all these tests. I'm doing three tests per, um, and I'm, it's kind of a, a pretty controlled, um, unbiased, uh, review because I'm going to be using the exact same topics every time and we'll see what the quality scores are and so forth with all of these writers. Right. And then we'll be able to see over here, which one seems to score the best. Um, and then there could be a, you know, I could put another box over here for subject uh, sub subjectivity, a score, um, uh, just, um, subjectiveness, which one, um, I just overall, what I, what I would rank it, you know, maybe out of a score from one to 10 or something like that. So, um, but I'm haven't really done that yet, but so far so good right here. Um, so we're going to come back over to the Zepiak uh, page. You can go again and pick this up license tier one 39 bucks to get in for 10 articles a month. I really wouldn't recommend that. Um, you're not going to be happy with that. You're going to want to go spend the $99, get the unlimited plan, um, and watch where this is going to de develop. They have said that they're going to focus on get, trying to get their tool to have longer, um, po lo longer blog posts coming out as well. Um, and like I said, because on one of these images, I believe right here, if we scroll in, you can see, uh, no, it's not that one right there. It's uh, do do do. Um, I thought I saw an image earlier where it shows the amount of words that you can select is a lot um, higher. Yeah, look right here. If you if you actually zoom in on this, 
you'll be able to see that it says 2400 words and so forth so i'm not sure maybe when you are on the paid one maybe it does let you actually choose how many words you want and if that's the case then that would give us even more of a, it wouldn't change the SEO scores and so forth. Actually, they'll drop a little bit as you uh, create a, a more content, but it definitely could be the kicker between, um, you know, picking it up or not, um, its ability to create those um, one, two or 3000 word blog posts. So uh, that's it for this. If you wanna go pick up uh, Zubyak, then um, I have a link below. You can go check it out. I appreciate you and your time, and we will see you in the next video.